What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and today we've got a quick guide for you in Robocop Rogue City on how the Auto 9 weapon upgrade system works. So this is a really cool system, it's really simplistic but it's really effective and you can have a lot of fun with it. So I'm going to go over the very basics first. Boards you get, once you unlock the system, it's a few hours into the game, you'll start finding these boards. They're basically circuit boards you can put into your gun. You will find some in different chests you find on missions, you'll find some in safes. At the end of missions you'll get them sometimes. So there's all quite a few I've got in the game so far. There's not tons, but there's enough for a decent bit of variety. And when you get a new one, you're going to be faced with this. You're going to have all these different slots and in these different sort of CPUs you can put into the motherboard, whatever it is, on the side. Now these are also found in chests and that as well. You can also com sort of merge them together. So you can open up the chip merger, pick three, and spam them all together. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to this it's completely random if you put all three with one on the left side it will come out so it doesn't really make a difference i'll explain more of that in a second so this is the way you can get more powerful chips so the board is basically a small mini game where you need to light up all the right slots without lighting up any of the bad slots so the bad slots are these red ones these are overall penalties so you can see right now in the top right hand corner all of my stats are zero percent this will be minus ten percent to everything so these are really bad i've not found a single board yet where getting one of these is more beneficial um, if, if instead of getting a skill or something like that. So, for example, here you can see here, these are the two power inputs, right? So power's coming from those two locations. So I want to start here, um, and I need to be able to go up, down, and right, basically. So I need to be able to get the power from up or down and then go to the right. So um, let's have a look what, which one will work here. So put this one in just to show you. That's now going to spread the power to the left, which I don't want, and then to the right. So we don't want that either. So... We're going to switch over to the one in the top for a second. I'm going to put this here. So that's now the power has gone from this node over to this node. And because that node's only slot is down, it's only going to point the power back. So we can take the power and then nothing's going to the right. So this one, it doesn't have to have up if we don't want it to. It can have down and right. So we're going to put this one here in there because the power from the bottom slot, this one down here, is enough to bring the power up to this. And then you just work your way through following the same principle. So for the next one, we want pretty much everything but up. I don't know if we're gonna have, I've basically sort of got rid of so many of mine. There you go, perfect. So we'll slot this in here. That's gonna send it down to the explosive one. But you see here, this is what we get now. So we've got increased damage dealt, no critical hits, but we're losing that massive 10% penalty. So I don't think this is worth it myself. So I would take that one off um, like this instead. So you'd want something that doesn't have the down on it either. So if we go left and right instead here, Boom, now all I need is on this one over here is a, any kind of up to accept the power and the right doesn't matter. So that's pretty much what you've got to do. Um, it's a fun little system. Don't merge too many of your chips early on because they're not unlimited. They are a finite resource, so you don't want to end up screwing yourself and not having enough. Um, there are some really, really good boards. Um, there's one you get after a story mission. I don't want to spoil it, um, but it's got this little ability on it here. Let me see if I can get up there because this is quite finicky sometimes. So this is an automatic ammo feeder. This is no need to reload. If you get this one, put all your best stuff on it and Robocop becomes a complete killing machine. There's another one you can get as well that just basically turns your foot gun fully automatic so it can get pretty crazy. But that's the basics of it there, guys. It's a really fun system. If you've got any questions, post a comment down below and I'll help you out if I can. They got nice and quick, nice and easy. Get when you can get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like to subscribe. We do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.